Yo, we're back at it with this VR mining and tree chopping code along using Unity 3D. In the last video, we implemented VR mining, where we use our pickaxe to break some rocks, which when broken, drop ore on the ground. In this video, we're going to use the same principles to implement VR tree chopping. Here, when we break a palm tree, it breaks apart and it drops coconuts on the ground. Let's get into it. All right, so now let's do tree chopping. To do that, we need to first get a tree prefab. So we're going to go to the asset store, search online, and I'll show you exactly what prefab to get. So the VR, um, well, for, so the asset you should aim for to be able to follow along with me is this palm tree you can search for palm tree by marson's assets and yeah it, it comes in three different forms it comes broken so it comes in two pieces and the coconuts and the leaves which is what we need for the shattering effect and it comes put together which is also what i need so it's perfect go ahead and add this to your uh store Okay, and once you have that, go to Open Package Manager, and you're going to search for that palm tree. I already have it, so I'm just going to find it, palm tree right here, and import. Import it. And now it should be in your game. X out of that. And find that palm tree. Right there. Okay, same thing, the palm tree prefabs will all be pink. So what we need to do is add our own, uh, to fix the materials. We're going to go, to, for both of them, we're going to go to Universal Render Pipeline, Lit. And for both of them, assign that same texture to the base map. Okay. Now when we go to our scene, let's go ahead and create a place for our trees. Right, so we get the palm tree splitted, and that is broken into two parts for us to use. So one thing we're going to do is going to go ahead and uh, right click and go to prefab and unpack completely. Now we have just the it's not connected to anything. It's just the palm tree, and you see the leaves are messed up. We'll fix that, but let's just make it smaller. Something a little bit more manageable and also this was still a little too low so let's go ahead and make all of this a little bit taller there okay so our tree is here and it's split into parts we have bark down and bark up bark up is also attached to other parts the two coconuts we'll take those off and put it right in the center and the palm tree leaves, which we will also take out. Okay. Now it's just a uh, palm tree splitted with all of its parts. And now we can add to each of its part, add component, a mesh collider, and do convex. The only part we don't want this on is the leaves. So for the leaves, we'll just remove component. There we go. Also on the leaves, if you notice, uh, we could see through the bottom. The problem is on our materials, go to palm tree leaves text or whatever. And from render faces, uh, go for both. So render faces both, there we go. And one thing is we want to turn the white down, not leave the white where it is, and turn the smoothness all the way down. So that'll give us more kind of realistic leaves. 
excuse me. Okay. So now that our tree is set up with its colliders, we can set it up to be shattered. So our parent will have to have a script. Anyways, we have the palm tree splitted, but we're going to name this just palm tree. This is the palm tree that will not, this is our not split a palm tree it looks all together and none of the parts will move and then we duplicate this and now they're in the same spot but for the duplicate what we want to do is name this one tree added and for all of the parts we want to add a component all the parts except the leaves, no, even the leaves. Add a component rigid body. And set the interpolation to interpolate. And yeah. So that's perfect. Now for the shattered, we obviously have it disabled just like the rock. And now we're going to under palm to create an empty. And we're going to name this palm tree. And then we move it out to the uh, underneath sample scene in the world uh, in the world space. And then we're going to copy, just drag both of these underneath the palm tree. There we go. And that should keep our center still down at the center, but also have our trees together now. Okay. Now we can modify our two scripts to work with our axe and our tree, which is actually insanely easy. We're going to go to our scripts and go to pickaxe. Well, we'll go to our scripts, create a new folder, and call this folder axe management. And what we're going to do is copy these two scripts, control C, and go into our other one, our other. Uh, folder we just created and paste right here my uh, control V and that will give us our two uh, axes but it's going to give us an error our two scripts that we just copy but it'll give us an error because of the name being the same so we have to remove the pick from the pickaxe controller to um, leave it to for the name to be only axe controller and instead of rock controller this is going to be tree controller there we go now we have to match these names in the script Let's open it up so here it says pickaxe controller we match it to be axe controller go ahead and save that and then for tree controller we match it to be tree controller instead of raw controller and go ahead and save that perfect And yeah, we just changed shattered rock to shattered tree. Just to match the naming, even though it doesn't matter. And then for the axe controller, we'll do, we'll just leave all of this the same, this the same, bridge of body the same. One thing we have to change is instead of compare tag, we're going to be comparing tag from rock to tree. We'll create a new tag called tree. And another thing we want to change is right here. The rock controller script won't be on the parent, but uh, it won't be on the palm tree that is being hit. The palm tree that has, well, it won't be on the colliders that are being hit. They're actually on the parent of that collider. So we're going to do game object dot transform dot parent dot get component. So we get the parents component, which is going to have the rock controller, which is also wrong. It will have the tree controller. And we're going to call break tree. Let's go ahead and copy the name, paste it right here. The break tree. 
perfect this script should be good to go for our uh, use case but instead of and eh, well, this is fine let's go ahead and assign everything and see if this is working so on the palm tree we want to add a tree controller and for the shatter tree we just pass in the shatter tree and then for the axe we need to create another collider and what we'll do is we'll keep the we'll move all the centers back to zero except the y for now and we'll change that to 0 0.05 change that to 0 0.05 and we're going to change the y to 0 0.03 maybe 0 0.1 we'll change it to 0 0.1 and change actually the uh, x and the y size to 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 I think that will look a little bit more real now we just have to set the y to be where it needs to be which is right at the top let's try 0 0.4 for now we want it to be right at the edge right right for as where the blade is and then we have to move it on the x to where the blade is perfect Point zero a zero point three nine and the Z is fine. We just make it a little bit longer, zero point zero. Point one five a little bit too long, I think. Point one three is more cutting edge, I think. Okay. So we got the box collider set up. Now we add the axe controller. And we want to assign the axis tip right there. Uh, assign the box collider we just created. And yeah, this should be working. Let's, nope, we need to do one more thing. On our palm tree, we need to change the tag. Add tag, add one, and set to as tree but we have to select all of the children and the object itself and set it to tree there we go now all of the objects with the collider are set to tree that need to be set to tree they'll fire the event yeah let's test it Well, we already know this is working. I just make sure because I like doing it. Make sure I don't hit my hand. Okay, I need to stop doing that. I'm going to break this controller. Ouch. Okay, well, that worked. <laughs> now let's grab the axe. And let's see if it's cutting. So the axe doesn't just normally cut. Not enough force. Let's swing it. And there we go. Everything falls apart. And it's working. Nice. I missed it. <laughs> Okay, let's have a little fun like we did before. Let's add a bunch of trees. <laughs> but yeah, that's the tree cutting basically done. I hope you guys enjoyed. And now we're going to just mess around a bit. If you guys want to stick around for that, by all means. We're going to create a bunch of trees, not 10 though.
All right, let's go ahead and test this. Hands made. Uh, we already know the ax is working. I don't want to hurt my hand again. I'm going to get up for this. Wait. We reset my view now that I stood up. There we go. All right. That's some tree. All these coconuts. Eventually, obviously, these should be grabbable too, right? Create an inventory system. Oh, all the trees, all the wood you can collect. Oh, now let's break some rocks. Grand finale. Yeah, I think a little bit of smoothening is well needed on the hands. We'll fix that up. If I get some more likes, subscribes, and people want to see more of this, I'll be happy to make it. Alright, let's pick some ores. <clears throat> oh, by the way. <clears throat> Break. Got the first one. So this is actually two rocks. Embedded in one, I forgot to move it, I think. And sometimes, oh, I should that shouldn't be. I really hurt my hand now, I'm not as confident with my swings. It swings. All right. Oh. Nice job, you guys. See you in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe enjoyed this video and comment as well. <laughs> I should have been doing this the whole freaking tutorial. I just figured out something new. But not this. <laughs> I'd like to mention that I created a Discord server so that all of you can talk to me whenever you need. Um, if any of these projects or any of my other projects are interesting to you and you would like my help with something else or just like to discuss and talk about things, please join the Discord server. I'll try my best to be on there and we'll even host some random talk nights or something. So, I uh, hope to see you there. Alright, so I guess this is going to be the end of this series. Um, obviously, if I get good amount of comments, likes, or whatever from this video... I'll continue it and I'll make more videos, but this is about the end. Whoever made it this far, you guys are real champions. Really appreciate it. And remember to join the Discord. Thank you, guys.